Joining us now, Dr. Pawan Goenka, the chairman of InSpace. Thank you very much for your time. Congratulations on this. What would this mean to India? <laughs> uh, as you can see here, everyone is smiling. Uh, and and uh, even though in, uh, uh, in, in a sense it was a very simple launch, but uh, the implication of the simple launch, because this is the first launch done by a private sector, is very, uh, uh, very big. Uh, and that's why everyone here, whether they're from ISRO, from Inispace, from Skyroot, or from the government uh, coming from Delhi, even the Mr. Uh, Mr. Dr. Jitin Singh, Mr. Minister, the minister who was here, and they're all very happy to see what happened here today. Uh, and I think it's a very momentous occasion, very historical occasion that has happened, uh, which will uh, uh, take our space sector to uh, a new orbit. What would this achieve something that ISRO couldn't do all these years? Well, there's nothing that ISRO couldn't have done. So, uh, so, so for ISRO, it's not a very complicated launch. This is very simple launch. But the whole effort is not to have full dependence on ISRO for everything that happens in space. The reason uh, the space reforms were announced by Government of India in June 2020 was with that objective. So it is not that ISRO couldn't have done this. ISRO could have done this very easily. But it is that we want private sector to come into space and, and, and supplement what ISRO is doing. And this is just a baby step, I would say, and come up to a level where they can do things that ISRO can do. Right now, private sector cannot do things that ISRO can do. You said around 150 applications have been received from entrepreneurs or startups to enter, to make a foray in uh, this space. Uh, any big companies already have shown interest? Yes, there are big companies. Uh, uh, there are big companies. It will not be right for me to name them, uh, but... but uh, the interest is from startups as well as from big companies because the big companies that have been uh, vendors to ISRO all along uh, and they've been in the space sector for decades, many of them companies, they now want to get into a higher, uh, higher up in the value chain. Uh, for example, it's already announced there's a consortium of established companies uh, which is going to be making the PSLV uh, launch vehicle, uh, HAL, LNT are part of the consortium. Uh, and there are many other companies who want to get into the making of launch vehicles, that company that want to get into making satellites. So a lot of lot of it is happening, both from the startup side as well as established companies. At some point in time, will India have its own SpaceX, like what Elon Musk has launched? <laughs> this is a question that's always been asked. Will <laughs> India have its own SpaceX? Uh, I would say that India will have its own space. Why? Why SpaceX? Uh, on on uh, more seriously, uh, yes. Uh, I mean the. The vision is, the desire is, the objective is that India will have very powerful, uh, large space companies. Uh, and, and it's something that will happen over time, but nobody should be under a false pretense that it will happen overnight. Uh, SpaceX took, what, two decades to get to where they are, right, with billions and billions of dollars of investment. India won't require that kind of investment. India may not require that kind of time, but it will happen, uh, will take few years. Would these private players have unrestricted access and they can design, explore, or will they be bound by certain conditions? I would say that more or less unrestricted. Uh, what, what, uh, there are some strategic things that private sector won't be allowed to do, and that's, that's very obvious. No country allow that, allows that. But uh, in the commercial space, if they want to make their own launch pad, launch center, satellites, payloads, ground stations, export, import, none of those will be restricted. Of course, policy will come out uh, very soon and that will make it very clear. But I would say that uh, there is nothing that the private sector will be unhappy about, uh, that this is what I'm not allowed to do. Last two questions. In the case of Vikram S, what was ISRO's role in this journey? ISRO, ISRO played a very important role uh, because, see, uh, Vikram S was designed by a startup with the help of some of the retired ISRO experts, frankly. But then they brought everything to ISRO and a lot of testing of the subsystems was done by ISRO, uh, but more importantly, the design review uh, and the launch readiness review, uh, that is a very normal process for all ISRO launches, were conducted in the same way that they'll be conducted for any ISRO launch, using the same kind of experts coming from ISRO, a few coming from InSpace, few coming from retired uh, set of experts, uh, and there are a lot of inputs that were given to Skyroot uh, that came from the, from the review. And uh, without those inputs, uh, the launch wouldn't have taken off as smoothly as it did. So that's the very important part. And that's the hand-holding, right. mentoring that ISRO will be doing as time goes on. Lastly, there's a worry that this could slow down ISRO. Many compare it to, say, what happened to BSNL or Air India. How do you respond to that? Not at all. Not at all. I mean, this is far, 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 as far from possibility as it can be. 
uh, because it shows the anchor okay and a banyan tree and everything that will grow will be growing in the shadow of the banyan tree right uh, and therefore isro will actually play a major role right. uh, will be the father grandfather great grandfather uh, of indian space sector as the private sector comes in so no one should ever think that isro's role in space sector will diminish uh, in fact if anything it will become even bigger because they will will be leveraging what isro does would this give them more time and money to focus on larger projects like chandrayaan or mars Ma- uh, well i don't know about larger but uh, i think it will allow them to focus on deeper technology thank you so much for your time that was dr pawan goenka the chairman of in space talking to us at sri harikota with suresh sam daniel find the tv